So we got some, oh, that's not what I was expecting. Some really cool tools from our friends over at JB Tools and one of their partners came in today. Oh. We got a big cutting wheel. I don't know what we're gonna use it for, but we're gonna find a reason. Your dad's here, he wants to see it. Dang, these things are serious. So the company is Evolution. They make all kinds of cool cutting tools, more or less. And uh, I don't know, I wonder if that'll go on our, uh, that, that might go on our freaking hose cutting machine over there. But the biggest thing we got is a frame magnetic drill because we're about to be mounting up this hydraulic oil tank. And look at this. We watched Brian and them use it up there at the uh, semi-casual shop. These are cool. So, this big magnetic drill, we're gonna show you guys how it works. And shout out to, and shout out to JB Tools and Evolution for sending this stuff to us. We're gonna put it to work. Go check them out in the description below. I do have a discount code you guys can use at jbtools.com down there. This thing is a monster. Ooh, that thing thick. What in the world? <laughs> that fan just shocked the crap. It's not even plugged in. Dang. I'm positive. Dang. Look at that baby. Big old magnetic drill cutter machine. Mm -hmm. we we got some brackets. I don't have any bolts. Poop. Oh, I guess we can use some of the old ones. So right here's the uh, mounting bracket kit for our hydraulic tank. And what in the world? Well, that ain't no good. The stickiness is done unstuck from our pads here. Huh. Get some super glue. Look at that. Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh no. <laughs> so I guess we can use some of these bolts to remount our hydraulic tank here. So I think without reading the instructions, this is probably gonna go like that. Yeah, I don't go like it goes like this. So let's get to mounting and figuring out. Right there. Find out what size bolts we're gonna use. We'll know what size cutting bit. I think we're gonna end up using um, probably a five eighths, whatever size holes these already are. That's a five eighths bolt right there. Boom. Yeah. Bada bang, bada boom. So we got a 5 8 cutting bit for our new uh, frame drill from Evolution. So right there's our frame drill bit that we need. We'll leave it right there. And now these babies are gonna go. Oh, you know what? We might get lucky. We might be able to use some of these factory bolt holes. Shoot. I don't know. It's gonna be close. I think we might get lucky and be able to use some of these factory holes, bolts. It's gonna work out. So we'll have at least one side done and then we can measure the other side off of that. So that's gonna work out pretty good. Here we go, we got our mark. Drill is magnetized to it, it's not going nowhere. Just like that, we got a hole cut. All right. Probably shouldn't be blowing in the microphone like that. <laughs> blowing everybody's eardrums out. Shoo, baby. What do you say? Might know what I'm doing for my first time around. <laughs> I've never used a mag drill. Man, you know, I've drilled some holes back in the day in old, uh, 
blue collar with a regular old drill, my snap-on drill, probably burn her up. I think I probably did once or twice. And this thing just made it look like nothing. Wow, check that freaking out. You know, I'm starting a new frame drilling business. We're open Monday through Monday, and that's it. <laughs> Shoot, boy. Oh. What are you doing right now? Measuring things and stuff. So we want these things to be from outside to outside. So we got basically 11 inches to work with right there. So we went there from outside to outside to be just under 11 inches. <laughs> so, we need a couple clamps. <laughs> all right so i've got our holes marked i hope they're close they're close enough we're just gonna full send drill is on there got our little alignment dealio thing on there let's evolution this hole all right cut there you go. This thing is all on there. It punched through like nothing. It's crazy. That's Very awesome. little force too. Like just boom, right there. Right that dang old there. Oh. Oh. Was it heavy? Abracadabra. <laughs> so since we don't have any pre-existing holes down here on the frame, we've drilled one top hole. Uh, what I'm gonna do next is mark the. We're gonna put this on here. Mark the. Uh, mark the hole that we're gonna use in this here bracket, and we'll go from there. I guess we can set the fuel tank up here, kind of, and make sure we're good. Make sure I didn't mess up on something, because you know, with me, I half arse everything. I don't do nothing right. Oh, oh, oh. that's gonna be almost perfect. Look at that. Heck yeah, son. Precision at its finest. Sure. Hole number two going in. Send it. Got her close. Once you start, there ain't no stopping. so happy it makes me so happy i got this i got it perfect I'm taking my time measuring it oh i just saw something what did you see? that oil thing we removed if we don't do something with these cap i don't know if we gotta cap them off or maybe just hook them together the moment we start this engine up oil is gonna go everywhere Shoot anything about you better not forget that i won't people say i talk to you real bad why I don't know. People say I just talk down to you. Do I talk down to you? No, man. If anything, you hype me up. Hype me up? Yeah, man. There it is. Our brackets are on there. They look a little crooked. <laughs> it's alright. Um, this rubber... It's all right. <laughs> goes inside here, so we need to find a way to put it on there without it coming off. So we can put the oil tank in there, so. Sticky. Super mm. glue. Some what? Super glue. Super glue ain't gonna hold rubber, son. We'll go find something. Yeah. Good. 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 All right, we got our rubber holder upper thing on our jibbers on there. I got these, these thingies on here now. Next. Oh, 
shoot. Give me the other one, please. The, the what? The other one, please. I can do that. We can tell everybody. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. I'm filming. Shoo, doggy. Clean. Dang, boy. You might have to come out with t shirts of this thing. Oh, this thing is starting to look good. Mm -hmm. There she is. There we are, all mounted up. Get these stainless. Now I gotta have stainless straps for those tanks. Look at that. <laughs> all mounted up. So we got there's three holes. We're gonna plug the bottom one with this plug. And then we've got to get these hoses off the tank back there and transfer them to this one and hook them up. But we're ahead of schedule. So our airbags came in. Ryan got the airbags put back here. I thought you got them bolted down. I did bolt them down. These right here is what I was no, talking about. No, you told me to wait. Oh. Remember? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we can get the airbags done, get all the airlines hooked up. That'll be taken care of. We got the headache rack bolts. Where'd you put them? Right there in the box. Right there in the box, yep. That's where I put them. Oh, nice. They're black too. They blend in with the frame. Sweet. Money. Heck yeah. Now that we mount them from the bottom, you ready to get in there and use a ratchet wrench and tighten them up by hand. <laughs> or I think we might be able to use Nick's, Nick's uh, half inch ratchet. That's all right. We'll figure it out. See you later, Christopher. I can't tell if that's painted or not. Guess we'll find out if it rusts, huh? Guess so. Get it going. Oh. Oh, they're nice. They're not lock nuts, so you're not gonna have to tighten them all up by hand. We do have to put that rubber rubber thing in between there. And we don't want to tighten this down, I think, till we get the exhaust put back on. So we had a couple things we had to get done. The sun was super bright. And I remember telling you guys how the fuel return line, we've rerouted with some new fuel hose. And we've got our fuel vents all hooked up, ran down to the bottom. Fuel gauge hooked up. Now we got to get fuel out of those tanks somehow. We don't have any, I, oh, don't have any electric pumps laying around here anywhere. We've got all our headache rack U-bolts there. They're finger tight, but we don't want to do anything yet until we get our exhaust and air intake on, which we're about to do now. But I keep avoiding the fact we've got to get fuel in these tanks because I sold the steel ones that we took off. So we need, let's find a solution to getting fuel into these tanks and out of those. I know we can gravity feed them with the forklift, but that's going to take forever. We'll figure it out. Yep. So we went over to Napa, and we had a originally a line that went into the side of the intake manifold and up to here and held like a butane bottle, which was butane gas. And that would have been like the starting fluid kind of to uh, help this engine start up easier because they put a little bit of propane in there. So remove that system because it was all rotted and not work anymore, working anymore. And I actually saved the wire that ran to it, which is right here, which instead of the momentary switch, we can put an on and off switch. And maybe we can use this wire for operating some lights on here or something else. So get this thing tightened up into here and that will be one system deleted off the truck we don't need anymore. And I've still got to do something about those oil lines that went to that oil cooler, which I think right here's one of them. And we should be able just to plug them off, so I'm hoping for. So the, that oil filter canister that hung off the back of the frame back there, right here is where it comes out of the engine. And now right there is the uh, 
probably a major oil ports coming out of the side of the block there and it looks like it may i don't know i'm not gonna say something to be wrong but there's obviously oil pressure right there because it runs up to the back of the oil pump so we're going to cap these things off get that right there we're going to cap those off right there and there's also where it goes down to the bottom of the oil pan it looks like can't really see that just cap those off and that should take care of those lines being open we'll just kind of cut them at both ends and they'll be hidden in all the wire loom okay so everybody gave me a hard time about not changing the oil look at us we're draining a little bit to change these fittings out we're still not changing it <laughs> oh boy these are the fittings we're going to find some pipe thread i tried getting some caps to go on these but these are like a sae dash six weird ugh, caterpillar crap so we're going to pull these out on both this oil pan drain and the uh, other side and put uh, some uh, pipe plugs in there. Stop showing my fat. No. Yeah. So I went to Napa and got these pipe plugs. You, some of you guys are probably wondering what I'm talking about. They had that filter thing that hung off the side. It's kind of what we use some of these bolts for. These hoses right here went to the engine. Someone in the comments said exactly what it was. So. We're plugging it off at the engine. I was told that we don't need it, just use the regular old oil filter. I don't know what it did or what it's for, but it's going away. Yep. So everything engine-wise is pretty much 100% taken care of. We're gonna have to top off the oil. We may go ahead and drain it since we leaked a little bit, but I only leaked maybe a couple quarts. Well, maybe a gallon, dang. Might not hurt to go ahead and change the oil. So start at the front to the back. We got new belts on the engine. Um, we put a new fuel return line to the injection pump. We really could turn it up just a little bit more, but I think we're gonna leave it alone. Aaron takes all back on there. I checked the air filter, it's in great shape. I do need to go ahead and put that new fuel filter on. It's around here somewhere. Ooh. We gotta put the stacks on, but as far as like changing the things we've changed on the truck, deleting that oil filter thing is done. The new fuel line's done. We gotta get this fuel out of these tanks still. We should get the stacks put on. It should be pretty much good to go as far as the engine goes as far as everything we've done and then we'll start moving our way backwards and buttoning everything up one piece at a time um, i did go to napa and while i was at napa i was thinking you know kind of like how we have it on blue collar instead of running a pogo stick or something like that that will hang these um i forget what they call these things but this doohickey right here hmm. you know what this is ryan no so this right here it's going to hang from somewhere up on the headache rack. We'll drill a hole and put a U-bolt uh, through it. And it's going to hold our air lines kind of like up in the air. Oh, that's cool. So they'll kind of bounce around back here in the springs. Oh, that's sick. So that'll go there. I've got some new air lines that are all tidied up. And it's air lines, the... Um, brake, brake, light wire. I can't even talk. So all this stuff is bound together. We'll put all of the hydraulic hoses off of there in with all this, and that'll tidy everything up, make it nice and neat, and it'll just kind of hang from the top up there and down. And then what we're gonna do, we're getting there, is we're gonna take this air lines and stuff that we've been wondering what we're gonna do with and put it underneath here somewhere. We're actually, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do with this yet. <laughs> we're gonna figure it out. We're so close though. We're so close. What did I need to do now? Something on the engine. Uh, the filter. Fuel filter. So we had no luck finding my fuel filter. I thought we had it here, but I guess not. So I'm gonna order one from Walmart. We'll have it uh, next Tuesday from India. So everything's good to go for now. We got a lot to get done. We need to get these fuel out of these tanks still. I think we end up doing is hoisting them up tomorrow in the daylight and uh, letting them drain from the fuel lines. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but we're keeping rolling. We're waiting on a few things to come in next week. We'll get the stack put back on here. I'm gonna try to reroute the exhaust piping so it's not like sticking way out. Maybe we'll have to cut and weld, make it look a little bit nicer, but by next Tuesday, Wednesday, this thing should be back on the road, running and working. So make sure you guys smash the like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe. See you later.